Hey guys, it's Nev and welcome to part 2 of Magic Monsters. If you're looking for the first one, I'll link it down below and there should be an end card of it at the end of the video. Uh, so, for this one I'm not reading from the script because that hasn't been working really. I sound really robotic when I read from the script. So, if this video seems like a bit of a mess, that's why. <laughs> okay, so, for Hadrian, which is the one I'm doing now, uh, since Hadrian and Mago don't really have separate monsters or any monsters to be merged with, I had to kind of improvise a little and get a bit more creative with them. Uh, for Hadrian, I decided to go with a really messed up version of Respawn. Uh, in this scenario, uh, whenever he dies, he comes back to Respawn, whether or not there is any Respawn mechanics that are activated. It's like him, he is essentially the Respawn. And he comes back no matter what. But this comes at a price where he will, uh, depending on where and how he died or was injured, he will be messing a part of himself or will have a part of himself replaced. Like if he lost his arm, if he lost his eye, he would come back with a different one that was never his. Um, and he's also covered in scars, and these scars and these different limbs uh, are probably like, really painful and hard to manage, and really easy to tear, and sometimes hard to be able to feel like, in his arm. Because, as, as you can see, he lost his entire arm. Um, and that he will not be able to feel it as well as his other hand. He won't be able to have the same senses and it. it doesn't work as well. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, and well, the background since I didn't really have anything that could represent me spawn, I just I just did a bunch of random colours. Well, not random colours. I just put a little splashes of pop on it. And that's what I have for Hadrian. So the next one I did is Mevia. Mevia uh, was kind of a hard one to do, but I don't think uh, it was more of a decision based thing. She goes on a lot about the quartz mines, she wants to throw a lot of people into them, she takes pleasure into forcing people into the quartz mines, so I was thinking uh, so with another, I thought either making her a pigman or a piglin as they're called now or marching her with quartz itself which is the more obvious one and that was my chair in case you had that um, it was actually a pretty tough decision even now I'm kind of on the fence about it wondering whether or not doing a pigling might have been better but I ended up going with quartz instead I gave her these big chunky hands and feet that, and I imagine that having your limbs infused with quartz like this would be incredibly painful <laughs> and um, so it probably hurts be hard to walk as well if it's on her legs. And the 
really good for clobbering people with but not much else so I can imagine her really struggling to go about everyday life like because she literally doesn't have hands she just has chunks of rock that are just gonna get in the way uh, so I think like uh, she'd probably need a lot of help with stuff I'm not gonna lie um, or at least need to find alternatives because uh, you can't even open a door with those things you need um, and they're very spiky as well you'd probably accidentally stab herself uh, yeah uh, I can imagine that this inability to really take care of herself because of these things would be like something Mavia would absolutely hate because I get the sense of her that she's like an incredibly independent person and she doesn't want to need help, she doesn't want to be not as cap capable as other people. I added the markings that you often get on quartz rather than just making them chunks of rock. Um, for I think it came out really nice. Um, I especially like how you get this infusion of it on her face. And yeah, that's Mavia. Uh, last but not least, I did Warden. Uh, for Warden, I decided to merge him with one of the dark golems from the Sunshine, Sunshine? Sunshine Institute. I wanted parts of him to be kind of bulging out, whereas other parts of him are at least somewhat normal. Right, um, his arm and his leg and part of his face are like really hard and heavy and gone like. I added his monocle thing onto the side that was bulging, um, and I made that kind of the golem's eye as well. Originally I was trying to make his clothes really taunt around uh, the potion parts to try and show that he is uh, so clean and that makes us still neat, still in charge. Uh, but I eventually decided that didn't really work the way I wanted it to so I made them wrapped. Um well, it's because uh, his clothes aren't gonna fit properly like that. I made the markings that the golems have on the golden parts of him and I had certain areas glow purple like they do on the golem. Uh, I still gave him his keys that he has on his design and I did make his shirt a bit, a bit more stretched up near the shoulder so he is trying to fit into his uniform because he's part of his uniform he wants uh, to be seen in his uniform even though he's been merged with this thing Overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it was um, better than my first attempt, which I didn't even finish a sketch of that. Uh, I'm really happy that I was able to do a full body one because the first sketch it was just his torso and it looked really weird. This one looks a lot better. Uh, and yeah, uh, I like how I was able to use the purple and the black and uh, 
can't make it actually look like you can move either. A lot like Mevia's, uh, except not as bad. It's so, like the only parts of him are different. And yeah, that's the warden. And that's three more MCSM villains merged with their monsters. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, the again, the first one should be down below. Um, yeah, I've got three more villains that I want to merge monsters with, uh, so that should be coming out relatively soon. Uh, yeah, um, hope you're doing good. Remember to recycle.